<laughs> like a mess. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Precious and I'm a lifestyle vlogger, student, blah blah blah, based in a quiet home state. And this vlog is basically gonna be a pack with me vlog, okay? I'm resuming school tomorrow. It's my final year in Abbott and I'm super excited. Um, I've actually never done something like this before and I want to be able to like document every part of my final year. So I want to be able to look back to when I packed, when I traveled, the first day I got into final year. Final year for me is a big deal. I don't care what anybody says but it feels like such a huge achievement. So I was like, let me just like take you guys with me as I pack my things, Um, as I... You know get ready for school so that's what this vlog is all about guys by the way this is actually my very first time flying to school like can you see how grand my final year is starting like i'm always taking bus like i'll be on the for like 13 hours 15 hours from my up to a kitty state but this time around yeah, i'm taking two flights to school i know that flying is not such a big deal but for me i'm always on the road like this is this is the only time i've ever had to fly to school guys it's a big deal for me I'm only taking one big suitcase because of extra luggage and then I'm going to take like you know what we call Ghana but go in Nigeria in Zali taking just those two because um it's final year I don't really need that much load I will not be going out a lot so let's get started so guys I just watched that first clip and I discovered that I was not even wearing earrings okay I know I still look cute but I don't know the day that my husband will find me on YouTube so I'm going to put my earrings on and get back to you guys okay okay I don't think there's any difference, but I feel more, you know, fine. Like, <laughs> I feel like I look more presentable this way than the other time. So I'm just going to show you guys around my room, like the whole room, what my room looks like at the moment before we start the packing proper. It's kind of dark because like, I don't know. The lighting in my room is actually very really terrible. But this is my room, guys. I peeled off my sheets because I'm leaving. This is like majorly the things I want to take to school. I've already put them here because I'm I'm a very organized person when I want to travel. I just need to fold them in my box. That's the suitcase. I'm not taking this suitcase because this suitcase doesn't work anymore. <laughs> this is my bathroom, guys. Okay, so now that you have an idea of what my room looks like, I hope you do because some parts are really dark. I'm just going to clear the bed or like shift some things on the bed to one side and then pour everything that I have in my bag on the bed so I can fold them and reselect them because I think I have a lot of unnecessary things in there that I would not want to take with me to final year. And guys, I'm going to be talking to you guys during this video, sharing my life, sharing my five years in uni with you what i've learned what has changed about me um how i've grown you know how my life has definitely changed in the past five years and all the things that i've actually learned in my five years of being an undergraduate i'm going to be sharing in this video so if you want to see all of that stay tuned stay tuned okay? i folded up my curtains because my room is really dark so i needed extra light here Now I've successfully moved everything from here to my bed so I'm just going to start folding the things now. I'm not taking this small suitcase because the zip is bad and it has a lot of weight on its own. This table is a mess, I'm going to erase that too. Okay, so we have sorted out one of my tops. You guys, how many times or how frequently do you guys change your towels? I like to change my towels to every two weeks. So I have like three towels that I take to school every semester because every two weeks I change my towel. Like, I don't like when my towel gets dirty. This is my second towel. Definitely taking it. And then I'll show you guys the third one when I find it. 
I'm taking my sweater with me because like yo I think this is the hamatan season we are entering so I feel like it will get very very cold or it will be very cold like you know how December period is like that so guys I thought I was going to share with you guys like some things that kind of like have changed in my life in the past five years by the way this video is so not scripted but like i'm just pouring out my heart to you guys as usual the last five years have been me just basically getting through school you know leaving my parents i didn't go to a boarding school in secondary school so leaving my parents house to go and live alone all by myself in school has really really taught me a lot of things my life has changed in, in the sense of being more organized you know being in uni has made me much more organized than i have ever been in my life like i've learned to be independent to be my own person to you know live my own life basically just have my own sense of being you know and that's something i really thank uni for because if i was still leaving my parents out there's so many things that i can do today or that i know about myself today that i wouldn't have learned or wouldn't have known if i didn't move out and another thing that being in uni has taught me is that friends will come and go but then your real friends like the people that are meant to be will not actually leave you that's one thing that uni has taught me i have a video on my channel about like um life in uni and i made it specifically for freshers like you know if your first time in uni the first time maybe some of you your first time out of your parents house and even if it's not even if you went to boarding school you know boarding school is kind of like should i say reserved or like the rules are kind of tight you guys wear uniforms you're not allowed to take phones with you you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to do that my school well i attend a private university so it's not really like different to from a secondary school let me not lie but it's different in the sense that the freedom is just extended a little bit more in a university like mine so you have a lot of leverage or a lot of freedom i'm so proud of myself first of all for how well i've managed the freedom that i've gotten from you know being alone because my parents are, are not always with me obviously and like yo i've managed i've not joined bad gang i've been moving with friends that actually are my kind of people you guys <laughs> let me tell you something yeah for the longest time i've always been a i don't wear silk i don't care about silk you know all these silk night wears that like are, that comes with are come with robes i sleep in shorts and big t-shirts but then recently i started gravitating towards like silk night wears you know all these bonnet kind of things i'm now becoming more ladylike and i'm so happy about that being in uni has made me more feminine definitely when i was in secondary school when i was finishing secondary school i didn't used to care about anything i was just basically living my life i was just basically being a crazy chick that I didn't understand. i didn't even know my fashion sense I didn't really understand like what I wanted for myself but now I think I am I have made better progress to be honest with myself and I now know the things that I like the things that I want for myself like, you need to teach in terms of like your value I don't claim me like yo you guys I am almost done with school and I, I've come to the end like almost come to the end and I'm actually really 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 nervous should I say nervous I'll be worried or like in disbelief like i've made it this far guys i'm in awe so proud of myself still at the same time i'm so proud of myself what actually happens after now like after i graduate i get my papers i get my certificate and i'm out of school what actually happens like will my parents will be sending me money please people that graduate here that watch my channel that watch me please comment down below what well, what happens after uni like do your parents still send you money do you just realize yourself by yourself or like what happens i'm really interested in that if i were to think my last five years in school i would definitely call it transformation now i don't know if it's the same for anybody else or if it always happens to everybody like this another way that my life has changed is that i'm more patient oh my third hour i'm more put together i think that's all i have to come here and say be yourself stay focused create a relationship with god guys i didn't start reading my bible or getting close to god until my 400 level internship so you can imagine i did four years without praying every day or imagine if i did those four years having a relationship with god it would have been so much easier so much more interesting and above all i feel like it would have been much more smoother for me so yeah that's basically it what i came to say in this video while i pack my clothes i really don't have anything else to say i'm just really grateful to god like i'm thankful like i'm in disbelief i can't believe it that i'm actually you know done with school okay not yet done but this is my final year now so i don't have any other year coming after this and i'm really happy that okay i also started my youtube that's another thing i'm really grateful for and <laughs> I, I created this really amazing online family like you guys have loved me you have 1750 people getting to 2000 um i've been on youtube for the past year has really taught me a lot like i've learned 
so many things i've learned how to be patient with my subscriber account be patient with my views because sometimes my views get really low i'm just like yo what's going on with my views but then being on youtube for the past many years i've learned that oh it's not always about the views or the views don't mean the views don't define me sort of i've learned to you know love the 400 people that always watch me because my views always be between 500 400 that range so i've learned to love and appreciate those people that actually watch me consistently every time i post i don't take it for granted you guys for real though so yeah that's basically all um i feel like this video doesn't make any sense but yeah let me just take my time and actually fold my clothes then um select my clothes and i'll get back to you guys You guys how i roll my clothes when i'm traveling <laughs> guys this is a pillowcase yeah let me just show you guys i like to roll my clothes like gala because i mean it makes me fit in more clothes to my box and it just saves space i believe it saves space anyways so this is like a few minutes later i've made good progress i found this cap while i was packing in my room and so let me show you people real about hot girl <laughs> okay let me show you guys the back i think this belongs to my cousin but actually i like it <laughs> let me just show you guys how far i've gone with the packing and you know I forgot to ask you guys that you should like this video, share and subscribe to my channel, please. I'm trying to get monetized. I'm trying to, you know, drop a comment, let the engagement go up, let YouTube push my channel, share my video to your friends, help the girl, okay? Thank you. Thank you. So far, I've put a lot of things in here already. I know it looks really messy at the moment, but trust me, I'll get it right. Those are my shoes there. These are my bags that I want to take with me and this is my these are my underwear this here has my wigs um this is the only box i'm taking my bed is empty as you can see you guys i'm covering my bra but my bed is empty as you can see so i've made good progress with packing and i'm almost done guys i'm in love with my tooth gap honestly like i i've been trying to expand it Something I try to like intentionally push it so I can open up wider because I really really want to have a tooth gap like I can't wait. <laughs> Do you guys see it? Eh? Do you see it? Do you see it? Hey, cutie. Come on, let me continue packing a bag. You guys, as I'm resuming, I don't have any single pair of heels. Not even one. All my shoes are flat. I don't know if I like that or something, but I've not worn heels for a very long time now. So I've literally forgotten how to walk in heels. So every shoe I'm about to show you now is a flat shoe. Okay? Okay. So this for class. I love them so much. Slippers. More slippers. I like the sandals, but the front. Can you guys see the font of this sandals? Let me try and focus. It's peeling. And it looks tacky to me. I'm hoping to start working out and running in school. So you guys, when I the day I got this slip, I got it for like 3k. And then after that day, I promise you that I saw everybody around me wearing these slippers and I feel so heartbroken, but I'm going to be wearing this to the airport because I know that from the airport I'm going to school and it's going to be a very tedious process. Registration in Abu is not a joke, so I really want to go with my slippers for that. I'm going to vlog my registration process for you guys, hopefully, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> 